Hello, this is John from Outfront Motorsports. We're doing another video today that is showing the priming of a oil pump in a Subaru EJ series motor. First of all, this is not a, a uh, this is not a video intended to rebuild the pump. However, we will show some uh, criteria what we're looking for that would call or deem a oil pump bad. Uh, first, you have the inner rotor and the outer rotor, and you have the pump housing. This is a number 10 pump that is actually bad. Uh, the key point of what we determine this to be bad is the scratching that is right across this area and right across this area. This is a uh, low pressure side, this is high pressure side, so all the magic happens right across this surface. It's really important that these surfaces be really smooth. This is a bad pump. Uh, the other possibilities of having bad pumps would be that this surface here is scarred, which it rides right here on this nice smooth surface. This one in this pump is good. Uh, in assembling or pre-priming a pump, what we would do is we will use Clevite 77 bearing guard. This is what we use for our assembly lube. We have some here in this tube. <clears throat> Priming a pump. We want to get a little bearing, bearing lube right there and install the inner rotor. The outer rotor, again, we would be looking for scars here. We'd be looking for pits on the high spots right here. Sometimes when you take a little heavy debris, metal debris, uh, you might get little scars right across here. That would also deem the oil pump as being bad. <clears throat> you have a dot here. It's not important to match it, just that it's upright. Uh, but you don't need to match it because every revolution, it rotates one more turn. Okay, at this point, this is probably the most key point, is that what we want to do is we want to fill these cavities up. And by filling these cavities, this will instantly prime the pump in a couple of rotations. After this is done, you would then assemble the top, put the top in, and you're finished. What you'll see happening is that if we were to rotate this, and this is the direction it rotates, instantly you would see this squeezing out right here. That would be causing massive suction. Obviously the plate would be on. That would be causing massive suction in the pump and instantly prime the pump. Thank you very much.